"'Twas the night before Vlogmas, when all through the house, not a puppy was stirring, not even a mouse. Cameras were charged by the outlets with care, burnout looming above us. Help me, I'm scared. The puppies were resting, cookies baking in the oven. The calendar was stuffed with plans by the dozen. As the night winds down, we snuggle up in bed. As the worries of Vlogmas begin to haunt Remy's head. All right, Rem. It's your 10th year of Vlogmas. You ready? I don't know. I just keep feeling like something's gonna go wrong. You'll be fine. Okay. Good night. Good night. Vlogmas Day 23. Hello, good morning. So I'm actually editing Vlogmas Day 22 right now and I happen to look at my phone and it is 1.11 a.m. So I was like, you know what? Good time to start Vlogmas Day 23 because technically it is the first hour of Vlogmas Day 23. Hello, I am not tired because I had coffee at like 5 p.m. because I was tired yesterday and now I'm not tired. So I'm up and I'm editing and I just thought I'd say hello. Reminder, it may be 1 a.m. but let's drink our water. I think I'm going to be editing this till at least like 2 a.m. or so. So I'll check in with you when I'm done. But this is a long one and I have a lot of editing to do. So I think actually I'm getting tired because my, my mouth is not moving as quickly as my brain wants it to. That's what's happening right now. Okay, see you soon. I am back. I just got the vlog exported. It's uploading as we speak and it is currently 2.28 a.m. All right, guys, time to go to bed. I will see you in the morning. Hi, guys. Good morning. Welcome to the next day. Happy Christmas Eve Eve. I didn't even realize this time's going by so fast. It's the 23rd today and we have so much to do. I ended up going to bed last night and I woke up a little late because I'm so tired. I was so tired and I'm still waking up right now. It's now 10.50 a.m. I woke up around like 10 or so and Cal is already out at the store running a bunch of errands for me. I ended up buying you guys at Costco. I thought that I got pork ribs, but it turns out I bought pork chops. So we had like 36 pork chops, which is just like way too much. So he's at Costco right now now getting actual ribs because I did not do that right the first time. And then he's also picking up some last minute gifts for me. Today, I have so much cooking prep to do. I also wanna show you around the house. I might even do some rearranging around the house. And then we also need to wrap up all the presents, stuff all the stockings, get the house clean because Cal's family is officially coming tomorrow. Normally, if you guys watch Vlogmas every year, my family does Christmas celebrations on the 24th. But this year we're doing the 25th because obviously Cal's family is coming in a little bit later. And then on top of that, I didn't want them to get here and then you know feel all yucky from flying and have to like see everybody or like rush through a shower. I wanted them to relax, have a nice night. Obviously there's a time change too. So I just want them to get a full night of sleep and then we will hit the ground running on Christmas day, which honestly, I think I like this plan more and I might even like start making this a thing. I mean, I get one more day of prep, which is great. So I am super excited for today. I am going to have a coffee, get my head on straight and then we will start the prepping. I think I'm actually gonna get ready too because I just feel like more put together when I am more put together. So let's do all that. Why am I clapping so much? Yay! Today I'm gonna need one, possibly even two coffees. So I'm gonna do this uh, festive black double espresso to start. Here we go. On the mornings that I want to enjoy my coffee, I will do a hot coffee. And on the mornings that I need to just get caffeine in my system, iced it is. All right, I'm gonna try the Calafia Farms Holiday Nog. We're actually all out of almond milk. This is the only thing we have, so praying. This tastes good. Even if it doesn't though, I'm sure with the coffee and everything mixed in, it'll be subtle. I have decided ultimately I am not an eggnog fan. Ooh, but my dad is. I should get some eggnog for Christmas Eve. I also need to run to Home Goods today because I have decided to make an executive decision and change the, change the house around. I need one more thing. Yeah, okay, it smells very noggy. Oh, and that is bright, bright yellow. I'm not gonna try it on its own because I already know I'm not gonna love it, but okay, double espresso. Going in, beautiful, look at that foam. Some Calafia Farms Peppermint Mocha. This I know I like, and this also will change the flavor of the nog. A little bit of that, give it a good mix. A trio of flavors, here we go. Oh, 
oh, okay. This is gonna sound weird, but the eggnog tastes kind of bubble gummy, but it's not bad. Like I will be drinking this. I'm gonna add a little water too to water it out a bit. It's a little thick. It's actually pretty good. I would do this trio again. Mm. All right, I'm going to drink my coffee and let's go put some makeup on. Okay, I got changed into a festive outfit and I'm already feeling so much better. I'm gonna put a little makeup on. Since I've come up with my little like 10 minute makeup routine, I've just been doing it more frequently and it just makes me feel so put together for the day. So, shall I walk you through what it is? We can go through really fast. I'll show you my outfit after. I'm starting with sunscreen, of course. This is the bubble tinted mineral sunscreen. I like this one. I like super goop. I like Laneige. I like, I like them all. Next, I always put on some sort of lip treatment. My lips are so dry right now. Even though I'm drinking so much water, so much liquid IV, all the things throughout the day, it's just obviously drier out. This is the Laneige Lip Treatment Balm. Honestly, any lip balm works. Mmm. Just brings them right back to life. Next up, primer. I talk about this all the time. This is my new one that I just got, the Makeup Forever Shine Control Primer. This is like my third bottle of this. If you have oily skin like me, I could not recommend a primer more. You take, that was honestly probably way too much, but you take a, a, a little bit on your fingers and then kind of rub it in and you work it into the areas where you get oily. For me, it's like my nose, T-zone area, chin, obviously, especially like right around the nose area. I swear, you work it in and it just keeps your skin so much more matte throughout the day. I only have to touch up like once, if that now. And after you wait like a minute or so, it gets like tacky. If you can see, it's kind of like sticking almost. So good. Okay. My current favorite foundation, I've gone through multiple bottles of this. This is the House Labs Triclone Skin Foundation. I use shade 280 Light Medium Neutral. I could probably go a little bit lighter, but it honestly works out after I blend it out. I'll do a little bit. Actually, that was kind of a lot all over the face. I will say this sponge specifically, it's the Paw Paw sponge sponge that went viral on TikTok. My makeup artist uses them on me, so I got some too. And I like them. They have a much different texture than a beauty blender, but it's definitely a lot more porous. It absorbs like so much of that foundation. So I have to put quite a bit on. So it does waste a good amount of product, I will say, but it does give for nice application. I don't think I'll be repurchasing them. I'm just using them till I'm done. A little layer of that, if you can see, it's like so thin. I probably only got like one pump's worth out of that. So you know what? I wouldn't recommend these. <laughs> Note to self, Remy, you need to wash your makeup brushes today. I've been putting that off for far too long. And then lately I've been going on with a little bit more on my cheek areas where I need a little more coverage. Concealers, these are my new favorite concealers, the hourglass ones. I've heard fantastic things and I have to say they are amazing. I'll just go through and spot conceal little blemishes on my cheeks or on the nose if I need it, little chin. And then a little bit under my eyes as well in a lighter shade. As I'm getting older, my dark circles are appearing more. I used to like never get them and now I have dark circles. Just a fact, just getting older. Oh, I know sometimes, and sometimes I do this, if you let your concealer sit for like a minute or so, it'll get a little bit more thick because it'll start to dry, but I don't have the patience for that with quick makeup, so blend it in now. And now with a big fluffy brush, I set my whole face with the Kimchi Chic, what's this powder called? Puff Puff Pass Powder. It is fantastic. Filled in my eyebrows using the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil from like here out. And then the Kosas Brow Pop Nano on the inner parts to add like little lifelike hairs. I think it looks decent. I've been kind of having like a bad brow week and I'm just like trying my best. I am considering getting them microbladed again. I got them done like maybe five years ago or so and I really liked it at the time, but I don't know, I'm just not, not the best at doing them. Just a quick little wash of color over the lid. I'm gonna do the Patrick Ta. This is the Major Dimensions 3 matte palette. This one's really cool because it's like a top row of warms and then a bottom row of cools. I'm a cool top girly, but sometimes I like a warm. I'm just gonna do this like taupey color all over the lid. It takes me actually like two seconds. Just a big fluffy brush all over the lid. Did a little bit of a darker brown in the crease just to add some dimension. Now, very important, we're gonna curl the lashes. This is the Shu Uemura Eyelash Curler and it is the best of the best, especially if you have straight Asian lashes like myself, this thing comes in clutch. Okay, imperative step waterproof gel or pencil eyeliner on the tight line, which is the like lid part right here, the inner part of the lid. Doing that makes your lashes look so much more full. And then I'm gonna put on a lash primer. This is the Dior, Dior Show Maximizer 3D. Eh, it's okay. I feel like I could find a similar one at the drugstore, but just a primer works to make your lashes look nice and long. Primer's on, primer's dry. Now I'm gonna put on my Maybelline The Falsies Surreal. I think this has to be like my all time 
my favorite mascara, you guys. It is so good and so inexpensive. Mascara's on. I'm gonna curl the lashes at the very end again. I'm now gonna go in with some bronzer. I'm almost done with this one. I love, this is the Dior Forever Natural Bronze in number six. And I'm just gonna use this to warm back up the face and add like a nice little contour moment. It's kind of like a half bronzer, half contour, which I really like because it doesn't look too gray, but it's also not too like warm toned on me. Okay, put the bronzer on, on the cheeks, and then also on the nose using the Patrick Ta nose contour brush. This thing is amazing. Now, blush, very, very important. I would love to do like a red blush or like something like rosy to match the vibe, but I was looking, I don't think I have like a reddish toned one. I don't think I do, but I do have this really pretty like naturally colored blush. This is the Patrick Ta She's Blushing, and I think this will be really pretty on the cheeks. Oh yeah, that's pretty. A nice neutrally fleshy tone right on the cheeks. I can't believe I used to not wear blush. I feel like it just brings so much life back to the face. I'm gonna take a little highlighter on my finger. This is the One Size Fantasia highlighter. Bit of magic highlighter. I'm just gonna put it at the tip of my nose and down the top with my finger, just to add a little brightness. You know, I'm also gonna add it to the inner corners of my eyes. I feel like we need a little brightness right here, just a little bit. Okay, last but not least, on to the lips. I love to do either like a nude, nudie brown, or or also when I'm not talking, obviously I can do this a lot quicker. I love to match my lip or it's some part of my makeup too when I'm wearing and since I'm wearing red, I think I'm gonna try this little lip stain that I got in red from Clarins. This is the water lip stain in red water. I've yet to try this. It's got like a little brush. I'm not super keen on red lips, but I do wanna try this. Let's see. Oh, that's cute. Just like a little red flush. I'm gonna go around with like a little nude lip liner just to outline the edges. A little bit of that for definition and then stain. Whoa, not my shade. I'll be taking her off. Unfortunately, it is a little stained, but that's okay. All right, I'm gonna do a little nude lip liner and then you know what I'm gonna do on top? I have an idea. I have the Summer Fridays Lip Balm in Cherry and I've yet to try this one. It's brand new. I love their lip balm so much. Oh, that's a really pretty like deep red. I'm putting it on like Wan Young eating a strawberry, sorry. <laughs> My queen, I love that girl. That's cute, a nice little nudie red. So cute, just like a nice little sheer wash of color. Okay, and then last but not least, I don't recommend doing this, but I do this. I go back in and recurl my lashes because having Asian lashes, they just stick straight down. So if I give it a little curl and I gently remove the lash curler, they will actually show. Otherwise, all the hard work from my serum won't even show. There we go. I'd be super gentle with it and I've yet to take out a lash. So I think I hate the lip color, hold on. I went with my OG tried and true Charlotte Tilbury iconic nude lip liner and then hot chocolate lip gloss by Fenty. Feeling very me. I'm gonna set the face. It's looking a little uh, dry because I used all like dry mattifying products. So the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Setting Spray, so good. And Alexis Oakley taught me, you hold it down in like one continuous stream and you go like this. Before I would just like spritz, 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 all over. Adds a little bit more life back into the face. And now let's do the hair. Obviously that took a long time because I was talking by the way. Normally it takes me like 10 minutes. All right, so if you guys watched yesterday's Vlogmas, I had my hair in a half up, half down, and then had the little strands in front of my face, which I think is so cute. The face framing just adds so much to it, but I'm doing a lot of cooking today and it is much easier to cook with all the hair out of my face. So I am going to slick everything back with, please hold, this bad boy right here. I will link this down below. It's from Amazon. It's the Tancho vegetable stick. I, I'm not really sure what vegetables are in here, but I had so many hair stylist use this on me and it's basically just like a slick back pony stick and it just keeps your hair in place all day long. I'm gonna keep my hair in this half up half down for the next like three days like between today and Christmas Eve and Christmas because it looks like I tried but it took me actually a minute and if you're doing a lot of slick back hairstyles you must 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 get one of these hair brushes. I swear it is a game changer. Also I got it on Amazon. I'll link it down below but it is a bristle brush, a boar bristle brush and then it also has these little like plastic combs and basically between this and like a, you know, a hairbrush, ew, sorry about my hair, with like the metal little guys, this slicks your hair back so well. And it's really gentle and doesn't hurt it at all. Let me take my little ponytail holder out and slick her all the way back. Question of the day. What do you guys call these? Cause I just called it a ponytail holder, but I don't call it a ponytail holder. I call it a hair tie. But some people call it ponytail. Some people call it ponytail holder. Some people call it hair tie. If I'm gonna go down on you right quick, I mean, 
a haircut on me right quick. Gorgeous. Love it. For the actual like hair around my head here, it's got kind of a weird kink in it because I definitely slept crazily. I think I'm just gonna brush it out today and then maybe I'll add a curl in tomorrow. But for today, we're keeping it simple, nice and tight. And then I'll do a little hairspray all around. Make sure she is locked in place. And then my little bow. I think this one's from Revolve, but literally any bow. Should I add a red bow for more fun? What do you guys think? The black bow is cute. I also have this red glitter bow that I got for the holidays. Finally ready, outfit of the day. I am wearing this red top that I got from Isla Movement. I was wearing her red little t-shirt and then pants throughout the last couple vlogs as well. I got a lot of questions where they're from. Isla Movement, I-S-L-A Movement. I'll leave her link down below. Susie, I love you. Truly, you eight with this whole collection. It's so soft. I love a wrap top. It's kind of like athleisure. You can wear it to work out. You can wear it to chill. I love wearing just like comfy clothes around the house. So this is so soft. And the back has a little slice bow moment. You could probably actually even tie it around the front if you want to. I didn't try, but let's see. Let's see. I guess if you want to make it tight enough, you could like wrap it this way and tie it in the front. That's actually cute too. But I will just tie it in the back because it's nice and loose and comfy. And I'm wearing a little black uh, tank top underneath from White Fox. My leggings are aloe. My little merry and bright Christmas slippers are from Target. The bow is from Revolve. The face is from Suzanne and Ani Cruz. And then the perfume I'm gonna wear is Daisy Marc Jacobs Ever So Fresh. Mmm. Not going anywhere, but I'm gonna smell nice for myself. Let's get to cooking. I have hair everywhere. Let's get to cooking. Hello. Hi, guys. My little shadow was following me around upstairs and these two were just resting on the couch, enjoying their Christmas break. Also, look at the stocking that I got Alicia. Target was fully sold out of all the red ones officially, all the, the letter ones. So I think this is honestly more fitting for her. I love my dachshund. Welcome to the garage fridge. It is time to start all of our food prep today. I am, oh my gosh, wait, I forgot. Look what's set up in the fridge overnight. I had two casualties while putting them in the fridge, but I mean, overall, they look pretty good. Okay, some of them are actually breaking apart, but for the most part, I mean, that one looks okay. This one will be mine. Not too shabby. Okay, if you guys wanna see me make these, it took me four hours last night up until this morning, so those are there. Let's start all the prep. So I have to make some dips. I have to, I think I might even prep the potatoes today. I wanted to come in. We need to start softening a bunch of butter for the turkey and for the garlic bread, I'm gonna make my compound butter. So I gotta get lots of butter out. I also need to start softening some cream cheese to make dips because Cal's dad has requested lots of dips. So dips it is. I think I'm gonna prep the potatoes today. The mac and cheese is already in here. I also need to start prepping the turkey tonight. And then, yes, I feel like I'm Rachel, right? When she would go to her fridge and grab like a hundred things. We are going to begin though, while letting these soften by prepping and marinating our kalbi. We've got lots of kalbi here for the Christmas dinner. I'm doing my Korean short ribs. Luna, please don't go under the car. Luna, she grabbed a leaf. Hello, my little troublemaker. You are a little troublemaker. Okay, yeah, we're gonna get the short ribs. I need to rearrange the fridge so we have room for everything. There's lots to be done. Okay, guys. Wow, we got the pink pot, we got the blue pot. I am going to start marinating the kalbi now so that we are ready for Christmas day. If you guys want the full recipe for pretty much anything that I'm making today, it's already on cookingwithremy.com, so feel free to check that out. I won't walk you through all the steps, but I'm beginning by soaking my meat for about 20 minutes or so to draw out all the blood and impurities, so just gonna do that while I listen to a podcast and just chill. All right, see you soon. done. Now, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna start the stout potatoes and I'm also going to prep the bacon because we need lots of bacon for all of your dad's dips. I have all the butter and all the cream cheese softening already. I have to read you guys. Can I read them the text you he sent, baby? Yes. 
His dad, you guys, is so cute. I asked him to grab my headphones. He just started running to grab them. He's so sweet. His dad loves dips, as I've told you guys already. And so Cal asked him, hey, like, what's your, your recipe for his famous chive dip that he loves so much? So he sent the recipe over. He said, two blocks of cream cheese. Is this a family recipe? Should I not share this, babe? I'm not sure. Okay, I'm not gonna share it because I'm not sure if it's his dad's secret recipe. But he said all the ingredients and then said, mix thoroughly. I like to let it set overnight. When you make it, you can always FaceTime. Love, dad. <laughs> In the text, yeah. like signed it off. It was so cute. Thank you so much, my love. So yes, I'm gonna start the bacon for my bacon cheese dip. I'm gonna make his dad's chive dip. And then uh, we'll get those set up so they're ready for when he comes. And then, then I'll make the scalloped potatoes. What else do I need to make today? I need to make all the creme brulee. I'm doing three flavors. I'm doing a regular vanilla. Oh my God. I'm doing a banana cream and I'm doing a mozzarella because the matcha went over so well. Are so insane? Probably. <laughs> probably. Wow. I can't wait. I know. It's going to be so good. Oh, I need to make the compound butters too. Honestly, like that Kylie was like the big thing. Honestly, yeah. I also tripled the recipe because we had so many short ribs. So I made a lot of marinade. Um, what do you need me to do? I need you to come kiss me. Thank you. Love you. <laughs> Love you. Um, do you actually, you can help me with the bacon if you want help. Okay. I'm going to take the grill over. Okay, if you're not buying the giant aluminum foil and you're baking on a giant cookie sheet, it is such a game changer. Here is the regular size and here is the giant one and it just covers a giant cookie sheet and it makes everything so much easier. All right, I'm gonna have Cal lay out the bacon. You guys know I like to bake my bacon because it's just so much easier and less messy. So I've got my Kirkland signature bacon here. I'll have him just lay it out and then I'm baking at 400 degrees for probably like 15 to 20 minutes because we're gonna get it nice and crispy and then make that into the cheese dip. Here we go. And then I guess for now, I'll start on the scalloped potatoes. Let's fast forward again. cook lunch so we ordered in mm -hmm. what'd you get babe uh, salad salad Cobb we ordered salad. from health net which is the uh kardashian salad place and i got a i think it's called their high protein salad and it has chicken i did romaine cucumbers tomatoes and then sunflower seeds and almonds on top and you just throw them on what'd you get baby just a cob with Cobb everything salad. It's got Ooh. cheese, carrots, bacon, like fake bacon. I love their fake bacon. I wish mm -hmm. I got some. It's so good. All right, here's their dressing. All right, and then you have to do the Kardashian salad shake, obviously. <laughs> Alicia taught me you gotta like throw it around inside. Even when I do that, it doesn't work. I have to like actually mix it up with a fork. Ooh, I feel that. Yeah, my top is, oh, that looks good actually, not bad. I also got a large mango green teeny, also one of the Kardashians' favorite little drinks there. Mmm, it's so good. It's like mango tea, green tea, a little lemonade, you wanna try? Sure. It's so refreshing. Mmm, refreshing. So good. Really good. I know, it pairs very well together. Mm -hmm. Whew. Okay, so far we've done the potatoes, the kalbi, the, I'm gonna start the bacon dip. I'm also going to make the chive dip. I think I'm gonna make the creme brulees, and then I think I'm also gonna make the stuffing, just to get as much out of the way as possible, because I actually wanna enjoy the holidays. I don't know why I've never thought to do this earlier. I always cook everything like on the day mm -hmm. of, and then I'm, you know, sweating and not getting to enjoy the time. And we have a lot of stuff planned for when everybody comes. Like we're doing um, a white elephant. We have secret Santas. We have lots of stuff to do. And I just wanna like hang out with everybody. Like when we eat, like the eating portion really is only like 30 minutes. And mm -hmm. like the rest of the time is like quality time with everyone. And I'm usually cooking. So I wanna enjoy my time. Tastes like hell. 
<laughs> Not hell, health. Hello guys. Oh my goodness. It's so many hours later. I need to sit. My feet are killing me. Hello. Okay, hi. So I don't even remember the last time I talked to you. There's been so much that has gone on since. It's now 6.30 p.m. and I just wrapped cooking for the day. What did I do today? I marinated the kaipi. I did the scalloped potatoes. I also made this delicious like cranberry sage sausage stuffing. So that's all prepped. I also did uh, both the compound butters for the turkey, as well as the garlic butter for the bread. What else did I do? Oh, I made all the creme brulees. I did a banana cream, a matcha, and a regular vanilla bean. And then I made two dips. I did the cheddar bacon dip, and then I did his dad's chive dip. And I think that's all that I did. Honestly, I'm feeling good. Just my feet hurt from standing for so long, but I'm just resting a little bit. Oh, also, if you can tell, behind me is cleared now because Cal and I actually restructured the seating area and I think it's much, much, much better and I'm really excited about it. So I'll show you that in a second when I can get up and my feet aren't hurting anymore. But all the girls are being super clingy right now because someone is here at the house fixing something up, which again, I will show you guys all that later. But there's been some like drilling and song. You can probably hear that outside. Drilling and sawing outside, so they're all being extra clingy right now. Hi, Daisy Mae. I've been holding each one interchangeably to make sure they feel comforted. But yes, okay, let me rest my feet for a little bit and then I'll show you the update on the seating arrangement. And then we're gonna go to Home Goods because I have to go grab something to complete the whole party situation. Honestly, I can't even think of words right now. And then we still need to wrap presents and stuff the stockings tonight and then also get all the beds set up for Cal's family. So there is much to be done still. Woo, let's go. Okay, updates on the seating arrangement. Dun, da, 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 da. Da! So if you guys remember, this table back here was this way underneath the light up until literally like three hours ago. And obviously this table was over there. And I saw some comments that were like, why don't Wit, Ollie, Alicia, and Lexi sit at the circle table that's over there? All the dogs right now. I just don't want them to run away because people are walking in and out of the house. And the reason why I didn't set them up over there is because the table's too big and there was no room to even put chairs over there. And when we had Thanksgiving here, we split between the dining room and over there, which was totally fine. And as I said earlier, the actual dinner portion is like so short for the whole night, but a big part of tomorrow night is presents and secret Santas and white elephants and all that sort of stuff. And we're gonna need room to spread out and like actually have that time. And so when the table was there, there obviously was like not much room on the other side or around it. So we moved the table here. I think it honestly works really, really well. It's obviously a tight squeeze, but I still think it looks really cute between the two tables. But what's bugging me now is that table and this table have different little uh, themes going on. I need to put all the candlesticks back and we just washed all the plates again and everything just to make sure everything was nice and clean. So I still need to reset everything later. But for now, it looks so cute. And I wanna go to Home Goods and see if I can find more of these little red uh, tablecloth things because I have more of the garland. I have those candlesticks over there. So the vibe will match, but I need that pop of red. So I'm going to go look and see if they have that. Obviously if they don't, it's not super necessary, but it, I just want it to look really pretty. And so we've got the two tables. We've got enough chairs over there. And now between the two tables, everybody can sit in the same room. It'll be really fun. I'm excited. But yes, I smell like garlic, but honestly, I don't even mind. Let's go to Home Goods and see if we can find those little tablecloth things. Oh, wrong aisle. <gasps> it seems as though all of the Christmas stuff is gone, but Valentine's Day stuff is here, which is still red. So I just feel like anything red would be, would be okay. This is just cute. <gasps> it's reversible. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> I just gasped. I was on my way out of the store because I didn't like any of the other ones. And I found them in the Christmas section. <gasps> Okay, I can make one of these work for sure. <gasps> like this one, I think this is perfect. Found all these cute little toothpick decor things. I think I'm gonna stick these in the bacon wrap dates on a platter, it'd be so adorable. Hello all, we are back home and while I was pulling into the garage, I realized today is Luna's gotcha day. In honor of having Luna for one year, I am now gonna do today's small business haul, which I think that you're going to love, Looney. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let me go get it. Today's small business is from a company called Woof Board, which I will leave them linked down below. And they are basically T-R-E-A-T -E charcuterie boards for dogs. Cal's really tired because he did all the dishes for me today. Thanks, Cal. You're welcome. <laughs> I don't know how you're gonna have energy right now. 
<laughs> so there are quite a few different options for this small business and I got a couple things so I could show you guys a few of the different options, but there were so many adorable things in there. <gasps> okay, first up, it's like a little sushi sampler. Don't look, you have to I'm look looking. one at a time, one at a time. <laughs> look at this towel, it's a little Very sushi cute. sampler. It looks like there's actual like rice and then each one is like a little baby nigiri bite or like a, actually I don't quite know what this would be called. There's like shrimp, there's like seaweed ones. I, I'm sure they're all obviously safe for dogs. They come on like this little wooden board. That is so cute. We got that little baby charcuterie board. This is the mini Wolf Miss Barcuterie. And it's got all different little things. There's cinnamon pretzels, banana bread ice biscuits, pumpkin ice biscuit, blue mussels. Oh my God, mussels. Oh, there are reindeer biscuit and then churro bites. So it's so cute. Oh my God, little gingerbreads and things. I think I'm actually gonna give this to, I'll give like one of each of these things to like my aunt and my mom for their dogs because I also got, ah, it's so adorable. Oh. The big one, this is the Santa Paws Barcuderie. Honestly, this little like tray that it comes with is so cute. Also, all of them are already Super interested in what's happening. I thought this one was cool because the shrimps really stuck out to me, but there are apple cinnamon pretzels, plenty of pumpkin ice biscuits, banana bread ice biscuits, shrimp, pumpkin pie treats, chicken breast meats, lotus root, oh my God, so cute, Grinchy churro bites, and then duck gizzards, whoa. And let's give them each a little T-R-E-A-T. -E Everybody, go to your spots. Go to your spots. Oh, traffic jam. Luna, go to your spot. Baby May, go to your spot. There we go, put it down. Yep, okay. That's not your spot. Momo, spot. On your spot. Uh, what do you think they want? I think Daisy. I'm gonna give one of them a shrimp. I'm gonna give Luna the shrimp. Okay. I think Daisy wants a shrimp. <gasps> she likes the chicken -y, like, You're right. meat stuff. Okay, Daisy May. Momo, down. Daisy May, Momo, good down. girl. Good girl. Momo, oh. you can have, I feel like Momo would Momo, like this spot. one. Momo, spot. Momo, go on your spot. There you go. Down, Mom will like anything. There you go. And you can have the other shrimp. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> oh my goodness. How exciting is that? Oh, do you not like it? You want something different? She's going to eat it. I think she just thought you were going to give her another thing. Oh, Daisy, you ate that so fast. Oh my God, they've got like little shrimp. She wants shrimp. another. Hey, go to your spot. Go to your spot. Down. I'll give you another one. But you got to go down. Down. Good girl. You want it? Christmas cookie? There you go. Oh my God, they love it. Daisy's very picky. She doesn't normally like anything that's not chicken or I guess now shrimp, but she's liking this one. True Testament. Momo got crunching. What's this? Okay, Luna, you ready for another one? Momo one of the green things. Okay, well, she's not done yet, baby. Oh yeah. Here you go, you want a pretzel? Down, down. Daisy, you ate them way too fast. Now you're choking. You ate everything way too fast. Okay, Momo. Your dad wants you to have a green one. Down. There you go, sweetie. Good girl. Oh my God, you both swallowed that. I'm, I don't wanna give you too much. I'm gonna give you a tummy ache here. You have shrimp in your hair. Should I give him one more or you think that? No, too much, okay. Sorry guys, tomorrow. Okay guys, it's now officially time to start stuffing the stockings, which I'm so excited for. I've been waiting to do this until tonight. I will be honest, I've accumulated a lot of stuff and been like, oh, it's for the stockings, it's for the stockings because my family's not doing individual gifts for each other this year. We're just doing the Secret Santa. But my little loophole, as you guys know, my love language is gift giving. I do get to make everybody a stocking, so I really wanted to go all out for that. If you guys saw a few vlogs back, I forget what day it was, but Mia and I went to the store which is this really fun Korean plaza, Asian Korean plaza. They had like Korean skincare, Korean makeup, Korean music, K-pop stuff, food, everything. And I never did the haul for you guys. So I wanted to show you what I got because a lot of the stuff is stocking stuffers for everyone else. And also I got some stuff for me, especially the Korean skincare because I have run out of a lot of my skincare products and I've kind of been waiting to find new stuff. So yes, let me go through in no particular order. I picked up for me, some stuff from this brand called Goodall. And this is their line that is made specifically for dark spots, which if you guys have seen my skin, it's come a long way, but I have definitely a lot of like hyperpigmentation on my cheeks that I'm still working on. It's so much better than it used to be. But these are the dark spot care pads. These are really popular in Korea and also just on TikTok. These like Medi Heal, like little, 
pad situations. They come in like, they're like a pre-soaked little pad. You can put it onto your skin. So I got a lot of stuff from this brand because it had really good reviews. This line specifically, Mia and I were looking into it. So I got the little pads. I also got myself the toner. And then I also got this, which was like a little from the same line as like a little deal. So I got this instead of getting like the individual stuff. And in here, it comes with the Dark Spot Serum, a travel and a regular size. I guess I'm just gonna try this whole line. I, I have good feelings about it though. I mean, it's Korean obviously. And I also got their cleansing foam in this little kit as well as some of their sheet masks. Dark Spot Serum sheet masks. And then also this is a uh, little like samples. This is their cream and then dewy blur tint. So basically I'm gonna try this whole line and I have really high hopes for it. I mean, Korean skincare is obviously amazing. And if it's tailored, especially for dark spots, then I have a feeling my dark spots might subside a bit, which is what I'm looking for. So I am going to test this all out and I'll keep you guys posted. Also for me, I picked up this dandruff relief shampoo. I do have a dandruff shampoo that I love, 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 love. And I finished it, but I wanted to try a new one. This is also Korean and this is in the scent White Musk. It's got a pump on top, which I thought was cool. I Honestly, I haven't been dealing with dandruff as much as I used to. The smell is nice, but sometimes it gets pretty bad. So I picked this up to try. I also picked up some sheet masks to put into the stocking. So I just have here a bunch of different ones, balancing, brightening, clarifying. I also wanted to try this one. This is the same brand as the Snail Mucin. This is the clarifying treatment toner. So now I have the dark spot toner and then also this one. Sometimes I break out, especially during that time of the month. So I thought this would be perfect for certain times when I'm having little breakouts. And then for stocking stuffers for other people, I got this for Ollie. And then I think I'll probably give the other one to Wit or maybe Alicia. This is from the Snail Mucin brand. And these are their eye patches, like under eye patches, which I think they will love. Oh, I got this one for myself. This is the oil oily cut hair dry powder. It's like a little dry shampoo powder in a little stick so I can throw it in my purse and take it with me on the go. I love and swear by living proof. I don't know if I'm gonna like this more, but I'm gonna give her a try. Also, okay, I got these for myself and then I got these for my mom. These are the Peri Para Ink Mood Glowy Tint. One of my makeup artists uses this on me all the time and it's so cute. Oh my God, I got this really pretty brownie nude color. My mom is really big into coral, so I got her this one called Coral, this one, Coral influencer. They're like a lip stain mixed with a lip gloss and I really, really like them. Oh my God, this one has like a little kitty on it. So cute. So got those for myself. And then from the little K-pop store, I got some really cute stuff. I got this little keychain that kind of ripped already. So I need to sew it back into place, but cute little keychain sitting on a star. And then I got this one for Ollie. It's the same little guy, but sitting on a moon. For my mom and my aunt, they are big BTS ladies. So I got them some pens. I just thought this would be funny. I also got, oh, I got this for Cal because it looks like mama. Huh? I heard that. What? So you know it like no, I didn't. I got myself this little twice smear to put into my purse because as we all know, I love Twice. I got myself Twice pens. I got my aunt the BTS pens. And then I also got my mom and aunt the little BTS mirrors to also put in their stockings because I just think it's so funny. And then I also picked up all these cute little phone keychains that are so cute. It basically like sticks on the back of your phone on like the top and the bottom. And then it adds like a little strap onto your phone. So I got this one with little yellow flower smiley faces, a pink heart one a little teddy bear one. I thought Ollie would like this one and then just a little rainbow heart one. So that is everything that I picked up. A lot of skincare for me, honestly, but I'm really excited to try it all out. And with that, I'm gonna start stuffing the stockings. I have no method to my madness. I'm just going to lay it all out, bring all the bags in of stuff that I've accumulated and make it work and put my headphones on and listen to a podcast. So let's get through this. Okay, I have all that I've accumulated in all the stockings. I also asked everybody for what their top three candies are like two months ago. And I got everyone their individual favorite top three candies so that everybody feels personalized. And now I need to separate all these stockings out by little families. Like we have Lily, here's Holden, Uncle, Mom, uh, Shane, Wit, Dad, Okay, Sam, that's Cal's brother, Cal's mom, uh, my uncle's nephew, Cal's dad, Alicia, 
Lexi, Auntie, my uncle's sister, and then me, Cal, and Ollie. And I did get stuff to fill my own stocking. All right, now that everyone is split, I'm gonna start filling. Wish me luck. Okay, a few standout things that I wanted to share with you guys. I got some scratchers to put into each stocking, little scratchers. Also for my mom and aunt, I got them, I got sucked into a TikTok shop ad. This is like a reusable uh, lint roller. To clean it, you just run it under warm water and you can use it over and over and over again. You don't have to like use the paper sheets or anything. So this is really cool. I got this for them. And then I also got some Sunny Angels to put into mine and Ollie's stocking. Other than that, pretty much just candy. Oh, I also got Summer Friday's lip balms because Wit's been really wanting one and I was like, wait, that's such a good stocking stuffer. So I got three minty, two vanilla, and then uh, one poppy coral for my mom because as I said, she loves her coral. Okay, now let's speed through. Okay guys, I finished the stockings. They look so good. While I did that, Cal actually wrapped up all of my presents for me or all my presents I'm giving to like Ollie and anybody else, Secret Santa, everything. So thank you, Cal. I'm still working on it. Okay, well, Not done. very sweet of you to do that for me. Of course. Because now I need to get editing on this vlog, but I'm going to end the video here. I have so much more wrapping and stuff I need to get to, but I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to come back tomorrow. We've got some more cooking, more cleaning, more prep to do, and I will see you guys then. Bye.